you have determined that glow strand setup would work best for your subject and curriculum. First, it's important to develop an assessment plan using backwards by design. Determine which assessments you will be including that will allow you to collect information on the outcomes for your class and communicate the assessment plans with your students on the course outline. In order to use the glow strand setup, head to your class. The benefit of using the glow strand setup is that you can set up your content panel in whatever way makes most sense to you and still collect assessment information by strand. Go to your content panel by scrolling down to the left. Click content. This content panel is set up by thematic units. Unit 1 starting out beginning and becoming and unit 2 moving forward establishing and realizing. Different sections are created below the unit title, and then assessments are placed below those sections. To add units, sections, or assessments, click the Edit button. Click the plus button. If you would like to add a section, you can click here, Unit, and then Assessment. A variety of other things can be added to the content panel as well. To create a new assessment, click on the plus button near the section in which you would like to add it. Create a title for the assessment. Using the Outcomes Picker, attach outcomes to your assessment. You may choose outcomes from one strand or from multiple strands. Beneath Scheme, you may choose either Outcomes Out Of, Outcome High School Achievement Scale, or the Rubric option if you have a rubric you would like to attach to this assessment. If you choose Outcomes Out Of, it will allow you to put a mark for each of the outcomes you are assessing. If you choose Outcome High School Achievement Scale, you will be using the High School Achievement Scale for each of the outcomes you have selected. I'm going to use Outcomes Out Of. Here you will see each of the outcomes I selected from the Outcomes Picker show in the assessment form. This is where you will put the Out Of for each of the outcomes for this particular assessment. You can also change the individual weighting for each of the outcomes. Click Save. Now let's go to the Edit Waiting section. You can get there by first going to the gradebook or by clicking this down arrow in the top right hand corner. Go to Setup. On the left hand side, click Waiting. Click Choose what's in this bucket. Scroll down until you find Glow. Under Scheme Level, select Strands. You can see that the strands are now populated within your Edit Waiting section. This message says that the bucket contains assessments, but no weight. It is now time to weight your buckets or strands using your professional judgment or your department's previously agreed upon weighting. Click Save. If you would like to get more information on the assessments and their weighting, click on the middle column. You can see that the assessments are now populated below, showing which individual outcomes were used and the weighting of each of those outcomes. You can adjust the weighting in this area Click Save so you do not lose your work. Let's go see how this looks within the gradebook. Once in the gradebook, we see the assessments and the individual columns assigned to those particular outcomes. You are then able to enter in an individual mark for the varied outcomes in which you assessed on each assessment. If you use the High School Achievement Scale, you will use those letters of achievement for each of the columns. Once your assessments are in your gradebook, remember to click the blue share button to increase clarity and transparency in the grading and assessment process.